Airship. Let me see if I can get that gate open by hand. Shocking jockey. Who needs the power company? Some fool's alternative to electricity. Doesn't seem to work very well. Slate. Looks like it's heading for the dock. Just stay close. Yes, Mr. Duet. Call me Booker. Uh, all right. Booker. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? I suppose a place like this might have much we'd find useful. Time's coming, she says. Summon the gondola if we intend to reach that airship. These seem to be the controls that summon her. It looks like this runs exclusively on shock jockey. Of course it does. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look! Come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Act? act for your women folk. Act for your prophet.
Hall of Heroes closed until further notice. And there won't be a line to get in. Found some money. Okay. Great. <gasps> what the hell? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing I can't fix. I hate these things. Oh, geez, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Opening tear. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a, a window. A window to another world. Most of the time, their doll is dishwater. A different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes, sometimes I see something amazing, and I pull it through. There. Good God. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is... There... There is something. I... Oh, no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <laughs> I don't really understand what I just saw back there, but it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But I, can help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy an Eden floating in the mist, by man forsworn, by heaven kissed. your enemies into the air. Hold and release to create an eruptive trap. And when we strike, we will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Now, I know you've all come to think as Slate is some no kind point of hiding. war hero. Stop it! Stop it. Oh, this Hold out! 
Okay. On second thought, I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, there has to be a tear around for me to use. I can't just pull them out of thin air. of yours could find some ammunition lying around. I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. know the fella. Seems he's still got a knack for making enemies. Oh, it's a code book for a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. They give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? That'll do.
contraband guns hidden in the fellow traveler. Didn't find them, but funny thing, we found some old uniforms under the floorboards from the war. <laughs> Took guesses as to why they were there, but <laughs> who's there? You're Slate, right? Sir? Put the guns down! <laughs> Did you hear that, Comstock? That is the sound you have never heard. The sound of a soldier's end. Come to your hall of heroes. Prove me a liar. Let's just find that shot so I can get the hell out of here.
That'll do. The man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland, but here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. Our prophet, Father Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, and we'll that tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. Shh. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die at the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! Give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee and Beaky. Perfect.
Try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo. The right materials aren't always at hand. The tin soldier is taking credit for the deeds of the real ones. Now your companion, young lady. He wrapped himself in glory on December 29, 1890. What does he mean? You don't want to know. You... You were there. That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! Thanks. Slay, just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me, come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books.
This is it, man! Come here! Is your heart in it? Oh. Boxer Rebellion. No. In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it. Doing. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. And what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? What did you try to... Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? you want about Lady Comstock. A woman had an eye for fashion. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Now see how he's rewritten his own.
indeed if the Prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week, Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. The Prophet's heir, day and night. That's my tower. Lo! While Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. I need a lock picked. To those who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them, no betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said, There is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Look. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Let me know if you want me to bring that freight hook in. Do it. There you go. Huh? Where that came huh? from? Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Not sure I understand this, but I'm not complaining.
That's enough, Slate. We just need the Vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! for that shock jockey bigger. Found some money. Okay, catch. Thanks. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw. Too rare is the man who takes a stand in you for and God and I sweetest fatherland. And here's the face that we revere the heroes of our city. Kingmen, Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts. Some help with this. Okay. There you go. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. Satisfy him. Oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier's death awaits. Ten soldier. 
Soldier, eat everything that's on your plate. Finish it. You're a tin man now. A tin man. Stock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? The killing. Faster than you can imagine. Do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Okay. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, less you know about me. 